welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Tanya from Little Vintage Cottage. Um, today I am back in the kitchen again and I'm working on a, um, a dupe project. It's the, I'll put a picture of it right here. It's the um, Studio McGee and Company Soren cabinet and it is $2,400. So I obviously can't afford that, don't want to afford that. Um, and so I'm going to do a little knockoff project to see if I can recreate this cabinet for my home. So I'm going to walk you through how I recreated this look um, for a cabinet in my own home. It's not exactly the same. Mine it has a more of a mid-century vibe to it, which is what I have going on in my house. So. Um, let me show you how this went. This is the cabinet I bought. I got it from Overstock. You can see it was on sale for 180 bucks. It's called the Costaway Storage Cabinet. When I put it together, it had these four little short feet and I wanted to raise it up. So I took those off and I used this hardware that I got from uh, Home Depot and these little mid-century legs. So I took off those four square wood feet and added on these new ones. Now I am putting some, I'm using burlap on the doors to recreate that cane look. I'm positive that the, um, the Studio McGee and Company cabinet was actual real cane doors, but you can get the same effect um, with burlap. So I'm just taking out the glass, uh, which on this cabinet were easy. It was just little, almost like picture frame holders holding it in so I just popped it out and then um, put it on my burlap that I got from Joann's and cut it out. I cut it quite a bit larger than the glass and um, you're going to see that I folded it over and secured it that way and I left it pretty, I left a big overhang because um, you know burlap has a tendency to fray and I didn't want to cut it so close that it started to fray and show on the front so you'll see I just um, left it long around the edges.
And then I used um, duct tape. I have white duct tape, normally it's silver. It really doesn't matter. Um, and I just taped along the edges to hold down the fabric so that when these doors slide back and forth across each other, um, because one slides in behind the other and they kind of cross over and this fabric left a lot of bulk obviously and so I did trim it up a little and I taped down the edges to one keep the fraying from happening and two just to kind of press it down closer to the back of the cabinet. And this is how it's looking so far. Looks pretty good, I think. I also purchased these peel and stick floor tiles from Amazon. It was um, $15 for one box of 10. I'm gonna use them to make a cute little top. I wanted to add a little bit more detail to the cabinet, so I just used these tiles. And they weren't quite wide enough um, for the cabinet, and I didn't wanna mess with trying to cut little tiny strips so I just laid them on like this and then I caulked around the edges to make them look inlaid and here it is all finished this um, we really needed this in our kitchen oh I also added the gold hardware I forgot to talk about that I will put a link to it in the description it's from Amazon um, anyway this um, creates a lot of extra storage that we need in our tiny kitchen so I think it turned out great you're also getting a little sneak peek of the wallpaper that I just installed in the kitchen that post will be coming up real soon so I'm really happy with how this turned out um, the tiles on the top all are great to protect the top of it since obviously I'm gonna put plants up here and um, it just you know helps protect cabinet and also I think it just gives it a little more pizzazz rather than just a plain white cabinet even with the doors I thought it still needed a little extra.